Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going over the various types of connective tissue. And before we get into the assignment, I have a few prerequisite um, reminders for different uh, tissue cells. Remember that CYTE or CYTO means cell. If I say erythrocyte, chondrocyte, osteocyte, lymphocyte, site, 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 that all means cell. Histology is the study of tissues. Do you may remember what you call the study of cells? Cytology, I mean, come on, site means cells. Cytology means the study of cells. Ology means study of. And then here's a few different cells that you're gonna to see today. A chondrocyte is a cartilage cell. Chondro means cartilage. Sharks and rays are called chondrichthys because their skeletons are made of cartilage. Um, Osteocyte means bone cells. You ever heard of osteoporosis? That's inflammation or that's um, weakening of the bone. Osteo means bone. We have fibroblasts. These are connective tissue cells. Erythrocyte, red blood cell. Leukocyte, white blood cell. And adipocyte, fat cell. So here's just a few different cells that you will be seeing today. Remember that you have about 200 to 250 different types of cells in your body. Here are six of them. You don't just have cells. You have many different types. They're called specialized cells. E R Y T H R O C Y T E, erythrocyte. Now, as far as proteins are concerned, here's the two elastin and collagen. If you were to grab a pinch full of your own skin in your arm, it goes right back to normal. That's because you guys are young and you have very vibrant and very strong collagen and elastin. But if you did that to grandma, it's not gonna recoil as easily as it did with you. Because when you get older, your skin gets thinner and your proteins are weaker. Elastin provides your tissues elasticity. It lets them be flexible. On the other hand, collagen holds everything together. I like to think of collagen like the glue of your body. Some of you may have heard that um, some people tend to get collagen injections, like in their lips, makes their lips plumpy and firm. Keyword is firm because they're really being held together. When people get uh, skin tightening, that often involves collagen fibers. So, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to pass out your assignment. Where did I put it? Okay. The copy machine did not have staples for me, uh, so I'm going to start with Kylie. Pass the stapler down, let's have it zigzag. When it gets all the way down to the end, give it back to Nathaniel. Come back down this way to Maddie, then to Lance, and then we're all done. Give you guys a moment to get those all stapled up, and then we'll go over the packet and we'll really get started.
Here's your hand. What's up? There's nothing to add to blood except blood. That's it. Blood. You guys has plasma. Plasma holds your blood together. Do you think the world's sliced fast in your rooms? No, same as any others. Because we're having fun. Because we get sidetracked with conversations. That's not a bad thing. I, I enjoy having conversations with you guys. If, if we get behind by a couple of minutes, whatever. That's fine. I'm not going to say, I'm never going to say, Caitlin, shut up. I would never say that. So I like conversation. What you want? Uh, just leave it there. I'll get it at the end of the day. Okay, guys. Now, I want you to take a look at this packet. And let me switch online because it's available online. Uh, go here and then go under the assignments. Okay, let's start recording here. Okay, if you're watching this lesson online, you likely were not attending class today when we went over connected tissues and there is an accompanying assignment. So if you go to the main page of um, my Canvas page and you click on unit three tissues, you then click on, I guess I didn't make the link, but I will make the link here. You click on this button here for assignments. I'm gonna fix it after school today. And it will lead you to the assignment link for today. All right, I think I do have it somewhere else, but this is for my view. So let me see if I can find it. There it is, right there. So here is the actual assignment. I'll link it to that assignment button. While I'm saying this to everyone at home, I want you guys to listen aloud. So I'm gonna read this part aloud as um, you guys read along. This is what's in front of you. And then we'll go over what you actually have to do with this assignment, okay? Connected tissue is the most abundant tissue type in the body. It is not as dense as epithelial tissue and is made up of cells, fibers, and extracellular components embedded in fluid. This structure allows connective tissue to provide ample support while also staying pliable. Pliable means like flexible, manipulatable. Cells called fibroblasts are responsible for producing connective tissues. Bone, Blood, our blood, bone, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, adipose, and lymph are all examples of connective tissue. Connective tissues or connective tissue functions to, produce, to protect, store energy, support, transport, insulate, and connect all body tissues. These tissues can be highly vascular, but can also be avascular, such as cartilage. Uh, what does it mean to be vascular, everyone? Sebastian? It has blood flow. What is a vascular no blood flow have any of you ever broken a bone before what bone did you break nathaniel so probably a metatarsal how long did that take to heal a while well, it's a, it's a load-bearing bone anybody ever break an arm or a leg what did you break lance both your wrists how long did that take to heal Two, three months, that's normal. Anybody ever torn cartilage, a ligament, or a tendon? Took forever. Okay, I have a student in my fifth period who tore her meniscus, which is your knee cartilage. She's had her knee in a brace. Like, I had her for last year for AP Bio. She had it all last year, and she had it for up until last week this year. So it's more than a year. Here's why. Blood flow is healing. Your bones are covered in blood vessels and blood vessels actually go into your bone so bone heals rather quickly 
heaven forbid, heaven forbid Tom Brady breaks his hand this weekend, he will likely be back later in the season. But if he tore a cartilage or ligament or tendon, he's done. That takes so long to heal because your tendons, your ligaments, and your cartilage have very little, if any, blood flow. So the healing is very, very slow. Uh, back to this. In the avascular tissues, they tend to be made up of more extracellular matrices or substances rather than of cell components. So I want to really have this resonate with all of you. This, let's make this make sense. What happens to any of your cells when they don't receive blood? They die. Easy answer. What is carried in your blood that cells need? Mainly oxygen for cell respiration. Most of your connected tissues have fibers. These fibers are not cells. They don't require oxygen. So here's the rule of thumb. You ready? If one of the types of tissues I'm about to introduce you is more fibrous and less cellular, that means it has very little blood flow because cells need blood. Fibers don't. If something has more fiber than cells, it doesn't need a whole lot of blood. Okay. Now, moving on, I'll let you guys read that part on your own types of connected tissue. Um, here, you'll need to read this on your own. These are some connected tissue disorders. That's going to be part of your assignment at the end of this. And then we're going to, this is what we're going to do today. Parts A, B, C, D, E, F, I, and J. Is H on there? F, yeah, I guess we skipped H. Um, part B, you can do on your own. You're going to match the type of tissue with um, the name in this slide. And then you see this part right here, analysis questions. I want you to answer those in the back of that third page where you have plenty of room. But what you will be doing today is you will be following along with me with the notes to try to fill in as much of those boxes of A through J as you can. Okay? So let's get to it. Let's make sure I'm showing everybody at home what we got. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, don't write anything yet. We're not on areolar tissue yet. You'll see it. You'll know when you see it. Here are some of the functions of connective tissues. They basically hold you together. They hold you together. They fill spaces. They hold your tissues together. When you're out there running on base shore like this, Your stomach isn't going boing, me, boing, me. It's not bouncing with you. It's staying in place. Your connective tissues are holding it there. It's like a it's like a burglar's car being held between two buildings by Spider-Man's webs. They're held in place. That's what connective tissue is like. Tissues are widely separated by an extracellular matrix. Everybody, the matrix is fibers in liquid. The matrix is fibers and liquid. Yeah. Not yet. We're not there yet. The white fibers are um, collagen, which is like what? Is that glue or elasticity? Glue. glue. Yellow fibers are elastin. That's obviously elasticity. And here is a cross section of a chimpanzee's knee. Now, is this a frontal, sagittal, or transverse plane? Very good. This is sagittal. Now, if I were to go clockwise, starting with the top, that's adipose tissue. Now, I took anatomy too. In my opinion, there's only two out of six in there are kind of hard to really get. Adipose tissue is easy. That's all fat. Then you have blood. Then you have cartilage. Those are called chondrocytes, cartilage cells. Then you have fibrous connective tissue, also called dense connective tissue. Loose connective tissue. And then you have bone. Bone looks like you just cut through a tree. In my opinion, fat, blood, cartilage, and bone is easy. These last two can kind of be hard because it's different types. So here we go. Loose areolar connective tissue. This loose connective tissue is also called areolar tissue. Before we go anywhere, 
want you guys to check out this image. Do this drawing on your own. The thick fibers are collagen. The thin fibers are elastic. The cells are fibroblasts. Here we go. These are found between organs and between other tissues, basically holding them together. Some of these functions you'll have to hear me say because they're not on the screen. So listen to my words. This type of tissue basically is like a spider web. It holds two areas together, keeps them from separating. When you go running on base shore, your lungs, your heart, your stomach, your intestines, they're not bouncing around in your cavities. They're firmly in place because of all this connective tissue. This is areolar tissue. They're made of fibroblasts. This is connective tissue cells. And they have a lot of elastin and a lot of collagen. So as far as purpose, keeps everything stable. Holds you together. Some of you I see on Bayshore every afternoon, running up and down. Your stomach stays in place. Your intestines stay in place. All your organs stay in place because of this type of tissue. There are others, but this is one of the big culprits as to why your, your stomach isn't all the way up in your chest. Now, in the next image, I'm going to show you actual areolar tissue. I'll go back and forth but you need to be able to identify which parts are which and say, oh, pff, got it, that's areolar tissue. There's three main characteristics. Look at the drawing that you have on your page right now. Elastic fibers, collagen fibers, fibroblasts. Ready? Boom. That is areolar tissue. Those little blue or uh, purple dots are the nuclei of fibroblasts. What are the thick pink fibers? Collagen. What are the thin purple fibers? Elastin. If you like, whoa, how do they know? There's the key. Elastic fibers are thin, collagen fibers are thick, fibroblasts are the cells. Now, riddle me this, guys. Do you think this looks more fibrous or more cellular? I think it looks more fibrous. So do you think it has good blood flow or poor blood flow? Yeah. Poor. It would mostly be avascular. Why? Because there's more fibers than cells. Fibers don't need blood. Cells do. If there's not a lot of cells, that means there's not a lot of blood flow. Okay, the next uh, tissue, I think it's pretty easy. Adipose tissue. Part B. This is fat. Fun fact about fat. If you decide, you know, if you're thinking, I need to lose some pounds, I'm going to burn some fat. I'm going to go swim some laps or run some five Ks. Fat cells don't actually disappear. They get bigger or smaller. If you really want them to disappear, you have to get them sucked out or cut out, liposuction, stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. Well, there's some fat that you can't get rid of. I mean, I hear you when it comes to exercising, but there is just some fat, like your flanks, you know, love handles, you just can't get rid of. There's a condition in males called gynecomastia, where it's female breastedness in men. It doesn't go away. You have to get it surgically removed, no matter how many push-ups or best bench presses you do. <clears throat> Other fat, like, yeah, like belly fat, other stuff like that, you can burn off. There's some fat you can, some fat is just in areas it won't go away. <clears throat> it's mainly used for storing long-term energy and insulation, keeps you warm. Do you guys have any bones uh, protecting your abdominal cavity? Like if you got punched right around your belly button, are there any bones there? No. Well, if you punched a big old fellow with a big old beer belly, probably not going to feel it all that much because he has a huge layer of protection with all that fat. It's found around the skin, 
That's your third layer of skin. Your third layer of skin is your fat layer. It's called your subcutaneous or hypodermis. It's found in your kidneys, your heart, and your breast. Uh, breast tissue is fat, mostly. Yes, Nikita? Um, I was going to ask about the beer belly. So I thought it was like liquid, but you're saying it's... it's <laughs> no, it's not liquid. Uh, beer belly, here's the thing. Beer is like drinking bread. Bread is a carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are short-term energy. Now, would you say people go exercising after they've had a bunch of beer? No. Most likely not. So what, do, what does that beer tend to get stored as? Uh, fat. fat. Long-term energy. That's right. That's why a lot of beers now are saying only, only 10 carbs or only 1.9 calories, stuff like that. They're trying to say, we're not fattening. We swear, we're not fattening. We don't have any sugar. All right, that's adipose tissue. That's easy. You see the plasma membrane, you see some nuclei, and you see the fat droplets inside. Yes, Sebastian? No, you were going to draw it on your own time, on the, the big box on the right. Yeah. Well, you have three boxes, right? You have function, description, location, and then you have a drawing. Do the drawing on your own. Okay, let's move on to regular connective tissue, okay? This is really, 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 really fibrous. So how's the blood flow? Not a lot. This consists of parallel bundles of collagen fibers all going in the same direction. This is what your ligaments and tendons are made of. What do tendons connect? What to what? Well, no. What do tendons connect? Bone. Bone to muscle. What do ligaments connect? Bone to bone. A long time ago, I had a student who tore her ACL from cheerleading, and her doctors recorded her surgery, and we watched it. It was so cool. Like, they had the camera, the scope in her knee. Uh, we saw them drilling through her knee bring in the new tendon. She had a dead man's uh, ACL. When you're an organ donor, they can take anything. So she had a cadaver's, a cadaver's a dead body. They had a cadaver's uh, knee, ACL, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, dense connective tissue basically holds your joints together. It connects your bones to bones, connects your bones to muscle, and it holds your organs in place. Pick up the pace a little, guys. We're about 10 minutes away. If you're done with regular, let's move on to irregular. If you guys look at the image, in my, in my view, it just kind of looks like dense, irregular, looks like a melted version of regular. It's going in a whole bunch of different directions. It's found in the layer of skin beneath your epidermis. What do you call that layer where tattoo ink goes and we're all pink? Your dermis, that's right. This is mainly meant for protection. There's your, there's your, your function. <clears throat> Protection. It protects your fat layers and your muscle layers and your nerves and your blood. <sighs> Ready? I'm going to show you a split screen of regular and irregular. Remember that regular is all going in one direction. Irregular is just crazy. It goes in all directions. Here we go. Three, two, one. Regular is on the left. Irregular is on the right. Notice that the regular goes in multiple directions. You have very few cells in both, which means there's very little blood flow here. They don't depend on blood. <clears throat> very, very fibrous. All right. We're going to skip reticular connective. And let's get into cartilage. Cartilage is made of chondrocytes. 
Cartilage is like a padding. It prevents bone on bone grinding. That would be very painful. If I was at Florida State and I'm doing the seminal chop like this, how do you think it would feel with my forearm rubbing against my upper arm? Painful. You would hear this sound. It would be awful. Yeah, arthro means joint. So here's the three, the three types. Hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fibrocartilage. I'm going to try to go to a butcher shop in town and get you guys some free bones to check out, like from a cow. Hyaline cartilage looks like glass. It is very, very slick. It's meant to be slick because you have to, you want to prevent friction between bones. So here we go. Hyaline cartilage is the most common form of cartilage. It prevents friction during articulation. Articulation means you're moving different bones by moving joints. My father has arthritis in his left thumb. It hurts to do this. Like play thumb war. It's painful. Yeah. Not really. It just comes with age. <laughs> you develop bubbles of gas within your joints. And when you do this, you're just popping the bubbles. Notice I can't do it again. The bubbles are popped. They have to reform. But it's not now, right? It's not now, right? Not really. Yeah. Well, you might have it everywhere. That just comes with age. Yeah. You're going to be an old lady one day. At the ends of bones. I do this. You guys don't hear a thing. I do this. You don't hear a thing. I do this. You don't hear a thing. I do this. You don't hear a thing. Because the cartilage, I'm telling you, when you see it, I'm going to really try to get in some bones from a butcher shop. It is slick. Hold on. Let's pause that. We're almost done. Okay. We have two more after this. I think it's um, compact bone and blood. All right. Whoops, sorry. Uh, last part, where is it found? It's found at the ends of your long bones, your leg bones, your arm bones, your fingers and your toes. It connects your ribs to your sternum and it actually makes up your entire larynx, your voice box. Your larynx, which is your voice box, is completely made of hyaline cartilage. Some people get their voice box shaved down and it completely changes their voice because they might have had maybe cancer or some obstruction that they needed to get rid of, and it was on their <clears throat> throat. Some people get um, some people get gender reassignment surgeries, and they might have a really deep voice like mine, and they want to have a lighter voice, and so they have to kind of shave down the voice box a little. It's a tricky, tricky, tricky procedure not guaranteed to be successful all right two more let's get to it real quick uh compact bones guys compact bone is ba basically meant for support and structure it's very very tough its function is mainly support and structure it's found in the outer portion of long bones it's very dense very thick very tough It's in your femur, your tibia, your fibula, your tarsals and metatarsals, not really tarsals, your metatarsals, your phalanges, your metacarpals. Uh, the function is support and structure. We have three minutes. I think we may make it. Bone has good blood flow. So if you break a bone, it's going to heal relatively fast compared to cartilage, ligaments, or tendons. Okay, and the last one, blood. There we go. Blood has red blood cells. What do red blood cells carry? Oxygen. What do white blood cells do for you? They kill infection. And then you have these little 
proteins called platelets. Would anyone here happen to be uh, a hemophiliac? Good. Hemophilia is a genetic disorder where you can't stop bleeding. You just bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed. You don't have very functional platelets. Um, blood is not only responsible for transporting oxygen and, tra and uh, killing infection, uh, it transports vitamins and minerals throughout your entire body. Red blood cells are anucleated. What does that mean? No nucleus. They're one of the few cells that have no nucleus. Yeah, all right, here's the word you said. You ready? The term for location is systemic. That means everywhere, the whole system. All right, we will stop there.